Rilis sentuh laran dan orangnya. Ningal pernah nak berkar kul mapa, anda ma, Maryland anda ma. Hello, my name is Rosalina. I am a proud Central Larenda sister girl. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners on the Gadigal land of the Oro Nation that we are on. Thank you, Anironda, for your beautiful welcome to country and having us on your land. Always was, always will be fucking Aboriginal land. I am a proud Aranda sister girl who was a sex worker. He has been living on the Euro Nation for the past seven years. I am the chairperson of the Scarlet Alliance Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Sex Workers Advisory Group, or in short, AXISWAG, which is a committee of proud Aboriginal sex workers. I was, an, I was an executive member for Scarlet Alliance as a general, general member. I've also been a part of the Northern Territory SWAP anti-sex worker reference group, which gave evidence in par Parliament House Economic Scrutiny Committee and was involved in the sex work-led campaign to successfully discriminalise sex work in the Northern Territory. I am a founding member of Sisters and Brothers NT, a community group that provides support to sister girls and brother boys and the LGBTIQ community plus living in rural and remote NT. We need changes within our community. There is still so much stigma and discrimination, police targeting, harassment, criminalization, and rest of us and a community just because of who we are. How we work and who we love, they target us because of the colour of our skin. Automatically, we are labelled as criminals, outcasts or troublemakers. The police targeting of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander transgender people has to stop. Yeah. They harass us, arrest us, when we are working. Many of us are in street-based or opportunistic sex work, making it, which makes us an easy target for the police. Yet, if we are, vic are a victim of crime, we can never rely on the police for assistance because we are always treated as if we are the criminals, which I have experienced personally and I have tried to, when I have tried to reach out for support. Shame. We are shamed. We are vilified in the media. We are de dead named, misgendered, outed, disrespected in the media reportings. Our lives are treated as a joke and our brothers and sisters' lives that we have lost. This is treated without any cultural sensitivity or respect and without approaching elders and our community. We are persecuted just for being who we are and our lives are reduced to cruel, to a cruel and tacky headline. Shame. Shame. Please, and the public saying, some of the public say, you're black, you're training, you're a sex worker, you deserve to be killed, or what do you expect? Shame. They treat us as if we don't deserve respect, love, hum humanity, dignity, and to be treated like a whole human being. And still, sex workers don't have the access to anti-discrimination protections in New South Wales. And we are still fighting de for de decriminalisation around Australia. We need decriminalisation for sex workers, or sex workers to improve workers' access to work, health and safety, and to stop us being harassed and arrested by police for being a sex worker. Yeah. However, with all these factors and against all this, as a minority, of a minority, of a minority, of a minority, has made me stronger and more determined to fight changes and for changes and justice. Yeah. 
chance is beautiful. Black Lives Matter because all sex work is, is all because sex work is work, and because this was always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Yeah.